Hey folks, welcome back to the Portable Gamer, welcome back to Farming Simulator 17, and welcome back to the Western Shore. Things are continuing apace, as they say. I did get digestate spread in all of field 5-9, that's this field we're looking at right now. I had about a thousand liters left in the sprayer when we were done, and I just left that in there when we returned it. I wasn't sure what else to do with it. I mean, we could have sprayed a little bit of it, well, all of it, all of a thousand liters, but a little bit of a length onto field 4-9 and had that much less to throw hard manure on. It just didn't seem worth it. So I took it back. I took our tanker back and the MAN truck. And right now we're going to try to get this cultiplow going in field 5-9. So uh, I have turned that back on. At the moment we have gearbox deactivated in the mod menu. It is not in game at all. You can activate it in the mod menu and then turn it off in game. I have it deactivated and I miss it but I kind of like the way the tractors behave. You can still definitely feel more realistic but it's not as, you know what I mean, it doesn't beat you up quite as bad. And we'll get to a little bit more of that in a minute. We want uh, field work, we want field work and then we want to go here, I barely remember how to use this, field Five nine. Let's just confirm it is five nine. It is five nine. Okay, field five nine. Working with uh, that calculates automatically. Starting location here. Starting direction. Uh, activate headland. This thing is narrow, so we'll say three laps around. We're going to do those afterwards. Bypass island. No islands. Multiple tools. Nope. Generate course. Generate course. What do we got? All right. It always looks a little bit offset. Does it not? Let's uh, let's see here. We don't have an offset, do we? No offset. Yeah, that always looks weird to me. All right. It just looks like it's offset. Oh, maybe it is. Maybe it's not. We'll find out momentarily. So we turn that off, and we want to go now up there. Yep. I deactivated Gearbox so that we could use course play. Best case scenario, we can use course play. Next best case scenario, we can use a smart worker. Where are we? What? Moment. Thought we were over there. No, we're over there. All right. So we can use a smart worker. We can use a dumb worker. I don't know. We can use something. We'll figure it out. But. It's getting impossible to keep up with all these tasks manually, particularly a big field like this with a three meter tool. It's going to take it's going to take a long time. So we need to have some of these tasks automated. And as I said earlier, you can still feel more realistic and the tractors do behave significantly more. Uh, they're more. I don't know. They're slower, I guess, is the easiest way to say it. But they're just they have more of a feeling of weight compared to base game. So we're going to turn this off now. We're going to turn these on. Is that right? That is right. Over here. And right about here. Turn that off. We'll set some speeds. That's all set from the last time we tried to use this. We go here. First waypoint. And what do we get? Exactly what we want. Okay. Stop at last point. Yes. And we'll watch this go through just a few lengths to confirm that everything is working okay. I'm also getting... You might be able to see it every now and then. I'm getting a phantom input from somewhere. I have no idea where. But if I... I use a gamepad. If I take my hand off the controls, I'm just slowly moving backwards. I did check dead zones and various other things, and uh, can't, I can't seem to get to the source of it. But I have so many controllers plugged in, wheels and flight sticks and everything else. I imagine that's got something to do with it. All right, so we had a little half row there. I, you know, let's, let's hang out here for a minute. We've got some time. We don't have a whole lot to do this episode. Let's confirm that, that those aren't offset. They certainly look offset. 
when you look at the overhead map, I don't want an offset. With that tool being centered, you know, we can't have one. All right, give me some good stuff here. Yeah, it's okay. It's just a little visual thing. Uh, maybe. I don't know, man. That looks like it's going to be pretty tight to the side there. Let's see what we get. We good? We are good. Okay, cool. And you know what? Let's do one other thing before we before we take off. Let's see what the estimate is as far as time for this. Well, that says 35 hours. I mean, let's hope not. Let's hope not. All right. Where are we going next? We're going down to uh, we're going down to spread hard manure on field four nine. I did. How do we get out of here? All right, there. I did lease the Mangale manure spreader that we used for compost earlier this year, and I also leased a heron trailer. Yeah, see, that's what I'm talking about right there. When it was backing up, I was fully stick forward, and it's just it's getting an input from somewhere. It it, it did this once before. Did it do this with 19? Yeah, it was doing this a while back. I was getting, I don't know, some kind of bad input. I'll take a look in the XML. But man, at, several things have happened off camera. And the game is, at the moment, the game is fighting me. It's always unfortunate when that's happening. So I leased a Heron trailer. I filled it up with manure down at the store. I bought manure. Put it in the Heron trailer. Heron trailer is parked in field 4.9 on the T-Dub. And then we've got our case on our Mangaly spreader. So we're going to spread one load till that's empty. Then we're going to dump. What I'm told the technique is, is you just take this poo, take this poo and dump it right onto the field and then use your telehandler to get it into your spreader again. So that's what we're going to do. And let me make sure there's no gates over here. No. So we can just pull this straight out. So yeah, I, I like this case tractor some people say case some people say international the debate rages on oh what i don't like is that the giant display that i will never use seriously we'll never use that we're not going to use backup cameras and tool cameras and everything else so i did look in the xml and i did look in the mod desk and it is thoroughly embedded there are multiple luas driving that and all kinds of stuff. I thought it was just an on-off thing. So, I don't mean to sound salty when I say this, but when you're going to put really silly, intrusive crap like that in your mod, you've got to have a way to turn it off, man. I know it's your mod. Hey, what did we hit? What are we caught on? Really? All right. I know it's your mod, and you can make your mod any way you want, but that's a, when I look at that thing, what I see is somebody trying to do something. Let me see if I can do this. Is there a reason for it? Do we need it? I would say no, and yet there it is, and I can't get rid of it. So I tried several edits, and all it did was crash the game, so we're keeping it, but we're not, because with gearbox turned off we don't need this tractor the ford and the jcb are more than capable of doing what we need them to do once gearbox is turned off so this that this will be the last time we see this tractor it's kind of a shame because i spent like an hour getting the sound and the more realistic and everything configured but if i can't get rid of that display i can't use this tractor it's just too annoying so that is that uh but that means we'll go back to three tractors and since we didn't buy this, we're not going to lose any money. We just leased it. So we're good to go there. And I'm trying to think what else. Uh, yeah, that's about it. We'll need to get another farm going. And I haven't decided which one that's going to be. But I suspect it will be the pig farm. So once we've got these fields going, which will be not too long from now, and get our winter canola in, the next episode we can... Well, I guess next episode we'll be planting. Yeah, that makes sense. Next episode, we'll plant canola. 
or at least get started planting canola and then the episode after that we will start on our pigs right that's everything that's going on i think uh cows are fed they're making milk um what else is going on silage is clamped oh silage is clamped that is cooking away uh, bales are all put up grass is fertilized yeah i guess we can start to think about that too think about it talk about it what it is that we're going to do with all of our grass from third cut I don't see how we can't get a third cut, right? So that's going to have to be a thing. Hope 20,000 is enough. 25,000? You know what? We've got a little bit more left at the farm. Let's do this. Let's go back over to the dairy. Let me zoom in for one thing. Let's go back over to the dairy and just reload this from what's over there because we still have more. Before we dump that trailer out, let's make sure we get everything that's at, at the farm and the telehandler is already over there all right so that'll make sense okay yeah let's do this first uh third cut what do we want to do with that if well i was thinking if the pits aren't emptied out yet we could take it down to the bga but i guess a simpler thing to do would be just to empty the pits because we don't have any... There's no time limit on when we bring in third cut. No. Not that. That. There's no time limit, right? Because we don't... We're not going to get a fourth cut. So if we let that grass stay in the fields for another few days, it's not a big deal. We have animal food. We're going to have money when we sell what's in the pits now. So we're not hurrying to get third cut in. I guess is a good way to say it. So, we could, yeah, I'm sort of thinking out loud here. That's why I'm not making any sense. We could empty out the pits and put it back in there or, or put all of it over in the one, over in the, the clamp between the lane and the dairy. Yeah, we could do that. Hmm. Thinking, think. I don't want to take it down with the BGA. That's what... That's my my dilemma, is I do not want to take it down to the BGA. I think it's just going to be way too many trips. Way too many miles, you know? And it's... Uh, if we do take it down there, then at some point we'll have to take a telehandler down or get a wheel loader. Yeah, that would probably make more sense. Lease a wheel loader to unload down at the BGA. Yeah, let's let's do all our silage up here and then we can take silage to the BGA to sell. But we're not limited to that. You know, we can also use it for food. Okay, let's do that. This thing, I believe, oi, bumping the walls. This thing holds, uh, I want to say 12,000 liters, so that would be about five buckets. And we already emptied this, well, we didn't empty it out, but we already filled the the Mangali from this poo bunker once it took 12,000 out I think we've got another three or four scoops in here so when we empty it out that will mean we had about 25,000 in here eh, it's more than I thought because we're only on day uh, what did I day 12 of the year and we were taking out like a thousand liters per day so I thought we only had about 12,000. All right. Let's put this in here. Like so. This is why I typically do this stuff off camera. It's a little bit slow, not the most exciting, but you know what? It's part of part of what we're doing on our farm, so maybe it does make sense to show it sometimes. think yeah if we turn that off we can sort of monitor um, no actually it doesn't it doesn't show the the case and what its capacity is up there in the top left corner we can see all of our vehicles except that one interesting all right 
So back this up one more time. I wonder if that's be ah, I wonder if that's because it is uh, leased equipment. Unknown. And I think, yeah, I think that's about full. I tried to fit one more in it last time, and it only took like a hundred liters of it. It's all right. So we'll get this out of the way. Right there. Brake. Engine. We'll come over and hop in here. Let's see what we got. Yeah, 97%. I'm going to call that full. Brakes off. Oh, I'm going to miss it. Great sound. Feels good. Looks good. Just can't get rid of that display. Now, we got the 270 horsepower version of this tractor. I believe there is also a 200 and a 240 as far as engine options. So we didn't have to use the 270. We could have had this tractor with a 200 horsepower engine. So that would be swing a little wider this time. I don't want a repeat of the incident. Yeah, it's a little better. Bump over that. Uh, yeah, we could go 200 horsepower. Mm, I wish I could turn that window off. That display... I'll take another crack at it. Next couple days, I'll see if I can figure it out. Because then we could do this tractor at 200 horsepower instead of 270. We'd have the sound. Visual would be the same. Yeah. All right. I'll take a look. Maybe I can figure it out. I tried, I tried every possible configuration. I tried removing the specializations. I tried just deleting the visual. I, I tried all kinds of stuff. Oh, you know what I could do? Oh, this is really hokey, but you know what I could do? is just go in and make the image files invisible. Yeah, that's a little... That's a little hokey, but it would work. Okay. And let's back up a little bit and see how our overlap is. That's quite a bit of overlap. Let's move over to the left a little bit. Yep, I can do that. Alright, there you go. Solving problems. So we'll... We'll leave all the scripting in, we'll disable the visual, and if and when we buy this tractor, we'll buy it at 200 horsepower. I will miss Gearbox. I mean, I guess we could reactivate it again if we ever wanted to. And this, this tractor, this Forbidden Mods uh, tractor, does have the Gearbox configurations in it from the modder. So they've got their own gear values and everything else. Let's slow down a little bit. So, and just to keep things so they make sense, I'm going to stop right there at the end of where we stop at the end of the other row. Make sense? All right, so uh, maybe, maybe we can finish with what we bought. If not, I'll just go down to the store off camera and buy a little bit more manure. Yeah. And we're... Now, we're only at 18 minutes. Let's do uh, let's do one more thing. Let's come over here. All right. So this is our T dub that's been struggling so much, and with gearbox turned off, it's. I wouldn't say it's ideal, but we're certainly not having the problems of downshifting to a low gear over and over. You know, pulling across there, that would have taken a minute and a half in in our previous configuration. Okay, so we're going to dump this right here. This is how it's done. They say... Alright... Alright, so we'll park this up, and then off camera, hang on now, off camera we will 
concentrating. Oh, get the rest of this manure spread. And then next episode, wow, things have really gone awry there. All right, we good? Everybody just calm down. Next episode, we will we'll start putting in our winter canola. Is that it? This has been a weird episode, hasn't it? Yeah, it really has. Something's, uh, something's off. Something's not right. We'll figure it out. Let's get this pulled over here. in here somewhere there you go all right i'm gonna call it yeah before anything else goes wrong i'm gonna call it folks there you have it thanks for stopping back to check out the portable gamer thanks for joining us for another episode of farming simulator 17 this is the western shore we'll see you next time take care now